Hello, uh, I'm Carol Ronnebaum, the Seniors Real Estate Specialist with Coldwell Banker Realtors, and we're here today visiting with Wynona um, with uh, Oak Creek Senior Living just down the street from our office here at Coldwell Banker. We invited her to be part of our uh, Blue Couch interviews, and uh, I just wanted to thank you uh, for coming and being a part of this today. Thank you for having me. You bet. If you feel comfortable removing your mask, uh, I feel like we have the social distancing going on. Is okay. that okay? That's fine. Yes. Perfect. Good, good. <laughs> so, well, um, what can you tell us about Oak Creek Senior Living? It is a 36-bed assisted living community. It's family owned and operated. Okay. Standalone. We're not associated with any other community in Topeka. Family owned. That's Family kind owned. of unique yes. for this area. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. Well, good. Uh, can you share with us some of the amenities, maybe events or activities that you provide there? Okay? Sure. We have activities. We have a full time activity coordinator, and she's just busy scheduling things that people like. Um, it changes when the population changes. Oh. You know, good. it's like right now, bingo is really popular, and I think that's popular for a, a lot of places. Arts and crafts, it kind of comes and goes. Um, finding stuff for the men to do can be a bit more of a challenge. Mm -hmm. um, we have barbecues. We have a garden on the patio. So, yes, we have lots yeah. of different activities. So the, the residents, residents are able to, to get their hands in the dirt and actually take part. In Absolutely. The they help plant and our mobile residents, they like to help us water. We've got the hoses set up to where it's easy access for them uh -huh. and safe for them to water the, the, the garden. Oh, I bet they look forward to that. Mm -hmm. so, they do. Yeah. Um, many of my clients uh, oftentimes have pets. Uh, that's one of their concerns. Is that something that they're able to bring uh, with them when they move into Oak Creek? Absolutely. There is a pet deposit. Um, they have to be able to take care of the pet 100% on their okay. own. Um, we've had people with cats that while they're in the hospital, we will take care of their cat while they're in the hospital. Uh -huh. um, but we've never had a dog, but we're willing to, we're willing to when the right person comes along and yeah. right, the right pet. Okay, good. Um, staff, uh, you know, is, is something that we hear about in the different senior communities. Is there uh, staffing on duty? throughout day and the evening hours or yes there is okay. we have the, at the least you'll ha we'll, we'll have it um, in the facility at a time of two people oh, so okay. from six at night to six in the morning there's two people uh -huh. but during the day there's two licensed nurses a cook activities maintenance housekeeping and then two to three um, med aids on the floor oh okay good well covered then it for 36 like. people it's pretty I'd say. pretty good yeah. staff to resident ratio yeah. Um, some of the seniors still drive, like to keep their vehicles. Mm -hmm. um, is that available for, for the residents when they're moving in? Absolutely. We have a big parking lot out back where they can park their vehicle. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. Okay. We have had a couple individuals with, with vehicles. Okay, good, mm -hmm. good. Now, for those that do not have vehicles, what type of transportation is available? One thing we don't provide is transportation. We, okay. We'd like to, eventually that's on the wish list to get a nice big bus. Uh -huh. um, a lot of our folks are Medicaid. So Medicaid uh, provides the transportation. Oh, it does. Mm -hmm. And for those that are private pay, usually families, they've got lots of family involvement or friends, we'll, we'll take them to their appointments. Well, good. So family involvement, uh, are mm -hmm. family members able to come in and take part in some of the different activities that you have? With your seniors? Before COVID, yes, of course. Families were in and out all day long. Is that right? Absolutely. Oh. Very involved family. But since COVID, we've had to limit our visitors. Sure. Yes, that's understandable. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great to hear that uh, before and, mm -hmm. and after, soon after we hope. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> um, that you'll be able to allow that again. So that's really, that's really great to hear that that's available. Yes. That's so important. Mm -hmm. uh, for seniors to still have contact and stay involved with their Absolutely. family members. So. Well, and they get to know the other residents. We sure. have we had a gentleman that was with us for a long time past around the holidays um, last Christmas, and 
his son still keeps in touch with several of our residents. Well, how sweet. Mm, it's wonderful. Oh my yeah. goodness, that is, yeah. What can you tell us about security? Um, are, are, is, is your uh, community one where the doors are locked? Um, or, you know, uh, if, if a resident was to fall ill, uh, how, how is that handled? Our doors are, before COVID, the front door was unlocked. We have a, a front door and a, a back patio door that are unlocked. Okay. The back patio door is still unlocked for the, so that residents can go in and out of the patio to the garden. Sure. Um, and just to you know, sit outside for those that like to. Our front door is now locked okay. from the um, outside. Because of COVID, we have to be able to stop people and screen them. Sure. And the front door is unlocked from the inside. So we do have some residents that like to take a walk around the, the block. Oh, okay. Um, or back to that back parking lot. Uh -huh. We have security cameras oh, inside okay. and outside. Um, okay. And I actually have the cameras, um, the app on my phone. So I can pull it up and, and look at it anytime I need to if I'm not in the wow. facility. Okay. And so does the owner. Uh -huh. So those are um, inside and outside and all... Um, Common areas where, you know, of course, they're not pointed at any resident care. Mm -hmm. And as far as, so that's really as far as security goes, we have the cameras. So one time we had a, a fella fall on the patio and we didn't know quite what happened. So it was really nice to be able to pull up those cameras and, and see what exactly happened. Because oh, he, yes. he wasn't sure what happened either. Right. Um, we have a back door that has an alarm on it. So if a resident got confused and was to go out that back door, an alarm, a really loud alarm would go off. Okay. okay. But other than that, we don't, if someone's an elopement risk, they wouldn't be a good fit for Oak Creek because um, being a Medicaid facility, we have to, they have to be able to come and go as they please. Oh, okay. So All that's right. a little bit different. All right. So can you expand on that a little bit, uh, the Medicare, Medicaid Absolutely. Uh, services that go along with? I think that really sets Oak Creek apart for assisted living. I think we're the, one of the only ones that will take Medicaid moving in. Oh, okay. And uh, we just, we work with their personal income and then we work with the, the Medicaid MCO to form a care plan and, and for reimbursement. Okay. Um, our Medicaid people do not go in shared rooms. Mm-hmm. Um, they get a private room. There's there's really no difference. So okay. there's no we don't treat the private pay and the Medicaid different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, food's always an important part mm -hmm. when people are choosing their their next home. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the types of uh, seating arrangement? Is it buffet style, family style service? Sure. Well, again. Before COVID, it was a little bit more family style. Um, we serve, the, the nursing staff go to the kitchen window. We take their orders in the morning. We tell them what's on the menu. If they don't like what's on the main menu, so say if it's a lasagna and Caesar salad and they don't want lasagna and Caesar salad, we have a list of things that are always available. So the staff go around in the morning and they take lunch and supper orders. Mm -hmm. And then they go to the window and the cooks prepare, you know, the plates per the resident order and we, and we serve it. Um, right now we have two dining rooms because of COVID. We just had one dining room okay. before COVID and it was pretty crowded. So since COVID, we've opened up our TV room as a small dining room and it works out well because that's where all the men eat. Oh, so that's the man cave that's... now and they love it and they have taken <laughs> I over. I bet they do. The ladies are like, they won't let me come watch TV. I said, well, we'll work. <laughs> yes, they will. Let's go. Um, so we, we have had to it looks a little bit more industrial now because of COVID. There's no tablecloths or salt and pepper shakers. All that has to be handed out individually in packets and sure. we can't set the tables. So, sure. and they do sit in the same spot and they sat in the same spot before COVID uh -huh. just because they become creatures of habit. You know, they sure. like to sit with somebody and, and then sometimes if the ladies, for some reason, sometimes the ladies get to bickering with each other. So we'll have to, okay, well, let's go sit with, let's go sit with Sue for a while so instead. You know. Awesome. So um, that's a choice where they can sit. And it is a choice. Wonderful. It is a choice. But Good. then once they choose that spot, that's where we keep them. And it's very, it's very nice now with COVID because I keep in the same people at the same sure. spot all the time. And I know who they're around. Right. Um, so to talk about the food, we have wonderful food. We have, we have two cooks um, that, well, three cooks, excuse me. We have three cooks and they, they do a wonderful job. We uh, do most foods completely from scratch. Very oh, little, wow. very little heat and eats or boxed foods. 
Nice. Everything's made from scratch. Oh, goodness. I know your residents appreciate that and enjoy that. Yeah, it's that's good food. Good. It seems like always the big thing to be looking forward to each day is, is what's on the menu. And Absolutely. What, what they're going to be able to. Their days result, revolve around seems like, the next meal. Yes, yeah. Um, is, is Oak Creek a home, uh, a, a community, where once they move in, they can remain there the rest of their lives? Or is it one that um, assisted living and if their health um, changes and need additional care, is that some, something that they need to move on or are services able to come in and help them to remain at Oak Care? We, uh, Oak Creek, I'm Oak, sorry. It's okay, Oak Creek. We consider ourselves um, aging in place community. Oh, good. So when people move in, they're typically fairly independent, you know, need help with showers or maybe cues to do different things or help setting out clothes for the next day. But as their needs change, whether it's mentally or physically, uh, we add additional services, whether it's in-house services or outside services with physical therapy or occupational therapy or even hospice. Okay. And our goal is for everybody to be there. That's their last place. We oh, don't want them to have to move. That's, so we do the end-of-life care as well. <clears throat> Wonderful. There have been some situations where we couldn't take care of people, sure. uh, physical needs or an elopement risk, mm -hmm. but we do our darndest to keep them there. Oh, that seems to be so important. It's very important. For seniors and their families That's as well. That's very important. So. A move can really trigger declines with the elderly. I've, I've, I saw that with my own, my own parents, yeah. so I can see, understand that. So. Well, Wyona, it's wonderful to have you come Thank in. Thank you. And is there anything else that we really didn't touch on that you would like to share with us? Go to our Facebook page. We have a very active Facebook page. Oh, okay. And we have a lot of wild turkeys. Oh, my goodness. We have all the turkeys out back. Is that And right? the residents like to go outside. Well, you have the and, creek that runs Correct. The and there are about 18 turkeys oh, at a time you get up to. Fun. And they get on the building. They get on the deck. Oh my gosh. And the residents can watch the turkeys out of their window. They'll go around the side of the building and they'll eat out of the, the <laughs> residents' bird feeders. <laughs> it's just hilarious. And um, uh, some of the residents' families supply corn so the residents can go on the patio and throw corn up oh, for the turkeys to eat. Fun. What a great thing. So. <laughs> the turkeys are great. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, so thank you for having me. Well, you're welcome. Well, why don't you go ahead and uh, tell us again your name and how they can get a hold of you and sure. the company, uh, Oak Creek's name and, and uh, contact information. So. Oak Creek Senior Living. It's The phone number is 272-2601 and I am Winona Keegan. So ask for me if you have any questions. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. You betcha. All right. <laughs>